These incredibly lifelike models of ancient humans are the work of John Gerchi. These were complex beings. These weren't, again, the brutish, brutish cavemen of popular mythology. Um, and so I wanted to convey an individual, a sort of a wistful expression. The New York-based artist ensures the models look as realistic as possible. A Neanderthal from a site called Shanadar in what is now Iraq, and uh, discovered in the 50s, I think. And it really changed the way, started changing the way we think about Neanderthals. The process is time consuming. Clay is used to build faces over a cast of a skull. Then each muscle, gland, and strand of hair is meticulously put into the correct place to make the very realistic models come to life. And I have to basically switch heads when I'm working. I have to make sure that I'm paying attention to aesthetic concerns, things like facial expression and that sort of thing. And I also have to make sure I'm true to the science. For his work, Gerchi studies fossils and perfects his craft by dissecting apes and human cadavers. He wants his work to reshape how people perceive Neanderthals. And of course, the caveman image is very difficult to get rid of for some reason. And probably the last 10 headlines you've read about Neanderthals is that they weren't as stupid as we thought. While giving a glimpse into the past. But my first love was always human evolution because I think of the evolution of humans on Earth as one of the most remarkable points in the history of life. This is Inside Edition Digital.